Good morning, everybody. Today is day six. We hiked up from Neil's Gap uh, about a mile up and, and had a nice campsite here. Pretty nice. Flat. There's some water down the hill. But my stove stopped working, so I had to hike back down to Neil's Gap this morning. Already put in two miles for the day and haven't gone anywhere. <laughs> Another trail mishap. Okay, finally packed. And I'm ready to catch up to everybody else. I don't know if I'll catch, uh, but it's going to be a long day. See everybody down on the trail. <clears throat> Good morning, everybody. Whew. Day seven. You can see a lot of the frost and uh, it did snow a little bit. Had snow on the tent. Just glad to get out of there. My knots were frozen on my tarp. I had to work them out. But uh, today... <clears throat> Got to be better than yesterday. It was miserable yesterday. Oh, we were uh, pretty cold, wet. Took me a long time to dry. Slept good. But uh, actually, this is uh, kind of nice to have a little cold. Got all my winter gear on. Gonna take it easy. We're going to jump off the trail today, go down to Hiawassee, uh, have a little uh, good food and, and a bed. I'll see you down the trail. surprised they haven't caught me yet it's beautiful out here just taking a little snack break there's a shelter over there I've got about a couple miles down to Unicoi Gap that's where we're gonna catch shuttle tonight oh by the way it's cold up here there's ice in my water bottle. It was all liquid. All right, see you down the trail.
Good morning. <laughs> Is that a video? Everybody's there. This is the top of Georgia Hostel. It's a pretty good place to just kind of relax, get warm, sleep on a hard bunk. <laughs> this is the bunk room. There's where I was sleeping. Rise and shine, everybody. Hey everybody, so I'm still here at the uh, Top of Georgia Hostel. I got some beautiful garb on right now. It's my uh, scrubs, including the bottoms, that they give you while they do your laundry here. Cost you $5, a, a $5 for a full load. I just got it delivered back here. It's in a basket, uh, it's all ready to go. Not too bad, I can finally say I, I smell good again. Tomorrow I decided to go ahead and stay here one more time uh, and I'm going to be on this lower bunk and then they they, they allowed me to check out a uh, pack so that I could go back to Unicoi Gap and once you get to Unicoi Gap you got it's a 16.7 mile day but you're, you're slack packing with just a few things in your pack um, and my pack is, is pretty heavy. I um, mean, it's 40 pounds uh, because I got my winter load out, but, uh, and I eat pretty good on the trail too, so, anyway, I'm excited about uh, doing my first slack pack. I'm going to knock out 16.7 tomorrow, and um, starting to get a little burly up there as well. Um, I hope, uh, hope I don't come in too late. I'm planning, they say the average person that come back from a slack pack is between 4 and 6 o'clock. I hope I'm closer to the 4 and not the 6, but uh, we'll see. 16.7 is not, not a short day. Okay, so uh, until then, I'm going to get out of the scrubs back into some regular clothes. Uh, get down to Hiawassee, go ahead and eat another good dinner, probably a buffet. And then... Um, be hitting the trail very early in the morning and doing a little, like I said, my first slack pack. Um, so see everybody down the trail.